Hey everybody, welcome back again. We got another haul video. Uh, this one here was from a new store in South Daytona, Florida. It is called Arkham Asylum Comics. Okay, it's relatively new, just opened up a little while ago. So I thought I'd check it out. Picked up some good deals in there. This one here is a Flash 346 newsstand. Even though back then the uh, newsstands were more prevalent than the directs. But still, this is an issue I needed, so I got a nice little hole filler there. Um, I got another one of these. I picked up one of these at Megacon, but the one I got at Megacon had some damage to it because I had never seen these as a newsstand. Okay, this is when the newsstands were quite less than the directs because the direct has the barcode on the back cover. So, pretty cool again. So, I'm kind of happy that I got two of them. One pristine and one eh. Okay, I got Amazing Spider-Man 364 with The Shocker. Spider-Man 324, nice McFarlane cover with Sabretooth. Sorry about the glare, I'm trying to keep it minimal. Spider-Man 303, Silver Sable and Sandman, another McFarlane goodness. Spider-Man 276. Another hole filler for me. And these were some, these were in the dollar bin, actually. These ones here. So this is a, actually let me separate these because one wasn't. Okay, I'll say this was a dollar bin book here. It is a direct version of early Battlestar Galactica. This is when the directs were a lot rarer than the newsstands. So it's not in bad shape. It's not beautiful. But I like to get the ones that are a little harder to find if I can. Okay, this is a whole filler I picked up. Spider-Man Chapter 1, number 8. John Byrne, my favorite. To me, he is the best. He is the second coming. He's like the combination of Jack Kirby and Stan Lee all rolled into one. Okay, this is more dollar bin stuff I picked up. This is a DC Who's Who Update, Volume 3. Nice Lady Blackhawk there and a little cheesecake photo or picture, I should say. Infinity Inc. This was in the dollar bin. This is actually an early McFarlane. This is a McFarlane cover because he did some DC work for Infinity Inc. And yet another one. This is another one by McFarlane, McFarlane cover. So if you ever find these, that's his early work. Then I picked up Green Lantern Mosaic. Okay, a book nobody really cares about. But I'm a hoarder, and I like to have finished runs. So I now have number three. I got number seven. Number 16. Number 17. So I now have all of the Green Lantern mosaics. And the last dollar book I got was this one here, another early Battlestar Galactica direct. So I like to pick up these because, like I said, they're rare. And that was it for this haul. So thank you very much. If you could please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, hit the like button if you thought I did a decent job. And hit the bell for notifications so you'll know the next time I put up a video. Thank you very much and have a great day.